Alrighty houses, welcome to your very first tutorial. And in this series, I'm gonna be teaching you how to make GTK applications in Python. Now, if you guys never heard of GTK before, it's essentially a way that you can make GUI applications with Python. So if you guys program Python before and you're getting kind of tired of those old command line programs because you're like, hey, this program is cool, but who the heck is gonna buy a command line program? I can't open up a software company and sell like crap you have to type into a terminal. I want something with windows, with buttons, with images, graphics. So that's what we're gonna be learning in this video, actually this video series. Now, another thing I wanna mention before we begin is that I am on Ubuntu Linux right now. So if you guys are on Windows or a Mac and you notice something weird about my computer, like it seems a little bit different, that's why. So, yep, there you go. And before we actually start typing any code, we actually need to import a module. So if you're using um, JetBrains IDE, I'm using PyCharm right now, but what you can do is you can go to File, Settings, and dun, 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 let me move this so you guys can see. All right. So on the left-hand side, go to Project, whatever your project name is, Project Interpreter, and if you click this little green plus button, let me move this so you guys can see too, type pi g object. So this is the package that you're gonna wanna install. So again, like I said, if you're using PyCharm, this is how you do it. I already have it installed, so I'm not gonna hit it again. If you guys aren't using PyCharm, then install it using pip or whatever method you want. You know, I'm sure you guys installed these before. And again, this isn't a Python tutorial. You guys need some experience with Python before you start watching this. If you have never learned Python before, then go watch my Python tutorials. So uh, yeah, enough talking. Let's go ahead and get started. So in this tutorial, the first thing you wanna do and the first thing in every one of these tutorials is you wanna import that thing that I just told you guys to install. So import capital G T K. Now, essentially all we're going to be doing in this example is I'm just going to be showing you guys the basics of how to pop open a single window. So all this window is going to have is a close button. As you can see right here, the minimize and the maximize. So in the upcoming tutorials, I'm going to be showing you guys how to add buttons to it, how to make things happen whenever the user actually clicks the button. But for now, let's just get a window. So I'm just gonna have a variable called window and it's gonna be equal to a GTK. I have to wait for it to pop up. I'm too lazy to you know type three extra letters. So there you go. So this creates a blank window object. Now before we just run this, there are a couple other things that we need to do. The first thing is this window. We need to connect something to it and that is a delete event and also gtk main quit all right so what we did in this line of code is we're connecting gtk main quit to a delete event now all this is doing is it says we want to ensure that whenever the user clicks this close button that it em emits a delete event signal and i'm going to be talking about signals later on but basically for right now just remember that this line of code says whenever the user actually clicks close on the window to actually close the window and close out of the program. So after this, now that we took care of all the kind of housekeeping stuff, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit window show all. Now what this line of code does is it actually displays the window to the user. So now the window popped up on their screen, but before we run this program, I'm just gonna call GTK main. So you guys know that, especially if you ever made a game a game before, that your program is gonna have this main loop. And it's essentially the brains behind it. And we don't really have any really smart logic to this program right now, but this is essentially your main loop. And it, it essentially keeps the window open until the user hits that X button. So whenever they run this program, the window pops open, it starts. Whenever they hit close, as you guys are gonna see, boom, look at that. And 
if you guys notice down here, of course, the window's looking good. Whenever they hit close, everything's running normal. But check out what happens in my little run panel. You see, this emits process finish with exit code zero whenever the program ends. So I'm gonna pop this open, the window gets displayed, and whenever the user hits close, then it breaks out of the main loop, and then the program ends. Simple enough. So that's the basics of it. And again, we got a boring plain window right now. So in the next tutorial, we're gonna be adding some more interesting, cool stuff to it. So uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you later.